This is about to become the world's fastest electric trash can known to mankind. So we picked one up, made some measurements to come up with the design, then got right to work. We started by grinding off the wheels and cutting out the bottom. We then picked up some steel pipe and cut it to size so we can start to build the frame. And the idea is to build the entire go kart to be able to fit inside of the trash can, leaving the tires the only thing that will be exposed. I used welding magnets to hold the pipes together while I welded them together. And before you judge my welding skills, I'm not a professional welder, but I do plan on getting better, so if you have any tips or tricks, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I then grinded down the rest of my welding marks, so it'll be easier to weld down the rest of the suspension parts. I cut and drilled some holes into some metal pipe, so I can bolt down the upper control arm. And we didn't build most of the suspension parts from scratch, just because we're not super experienced in building go-karts, so we bought most of them on Amazon. I welded the brackets into place, then repeated the same process on the other side. And for the welder, I'm using a titanium MiG 170 that I picked up at Harbor Freight for like 600 bucks. I then measured and cut the brackets that will support the lower control arms, then welded them into place. The next step was to start putting all the suspension parts together to make sure they would fit properly before moving on. I bolted on the entire suspension on by hand and once it was all put together, I came back around with my impact driver and tightened it all up. Once the entire suspension was put together, it was time to make the brackets that'll hold the shocks in place. And I made them the shape to try to use the least amount of material as possible because these metal pipes are insanely expensive and I want to make this go kart as light as possible. So I welded them together then finished installing the rest of the shocks. Now that the shocks are installed, the next step is to install the axle. So we marked and drilled holes into the frame to be able to bolt down the axle. We next installed the sprocket, the chain, and the brake rotor. But we then ran into a small problem where the wheel hub was too big to fit onto the wheels we bought. And to fix this problem, we decided to cut the wheel hubs and drill new holes that will fit onto the rim. We then welded bolts onto the hub to make it a little easier to install the wheel onto the wheel hub. Then it was finally time to install the electric motor and I basically just put it onto the frame, marked the drilled holes, then bolted it on. And this is a 48 volt motor that produces 1800 watts so hopefully you can get this go-kart going fast enough. But I then took the motor back off and finished installing the rest of the motor mount. Now that the motor's bolted into place, it was time to install the rack and pinion. This part was pretty straightforward. We basically just welded on brackets that'll hold it into place, then welded the rack and pinion onto the brackets. The next step was to install the speed controller, which is basically a computer that helps bring the proper amount of power from the battery to the motor. I then installed a piece of plywood onto the frame, 
to help organize some of the electrical components. Then screwed a bus bar into the piece of plywood, then started to connect all the wires that will go from the motor to the speed controller and from the speed controller to the battery. And I'm using the bus bar for all my positive connections and I will be installing a 40 amp fuse in between the speed controller and the battery but before I continue to install stuff I wanted to make sure that the trash can would fit perfectly over the go-kart which it did so I got straight back to work and started installing the rest of the pieces that will hold the steering wheel and the battery. This started off as an idea that I sketched onto a piece of paper and it's just insane to me to watch it come to life. And over the years I've learned that you can build anything you put your mind to even if you don't know where to start. Somehow, some way, all the pieces would just come together so if you want to build something, just start. But now that the battery mount is all welded together, it was time to install the 60 amp hour lithium battery that Lead Time sent us. And this is not a paid sponsorship, Lead Time sends us their batteries to give them an honest review. And after using their products in multiple builds, Lead Time is our go-to company because they make quality products at a reasonable price. But we then installed a fuse onto the bus bar that will go in between the motor and the battery. Then started to install the shunt, which will measure the amount of voltage coming in and out of the battery to let us know how much battery power we have left, which will display that information on the battery monitor screen. We then installed the switch to be able to turn the go-kart on and off, then finally gave the go-kart a test to make sure it works. And this trash can go-kart needed to have brakes, so we picked up this brake caliper, but it didn't come with any brackets to be able to mount it onto the go-kart, so we had to make our own. And it was quite tricky because the brake caliper needed to be perfectly centered in between the rotor, but we got it done. We next had to weld a metal bracket that would hold the brake master cylinder and the brake pedal. So we bolted on the master cylinder and a spring in between the brake pedal and the metal bracket to allow the brake pedal to come back up after you press it. I then installed the 40 amp fuse, then gave everything another test, and the brakes worked phenomenal. But speaking of brakes, we're going to pause and talk about today's sponsor, which is a VPN company called Surfshark. Thanks to Surfshark, we have the ability to travel and work at cafes from our laptops with the peace of mind knowing that our passwords and data is encrypted and kept safe even with public Wi-Fi. Surfshark scans for viruses on our devices and gives us real-time alerts if there's a data breach. And the cool part is that you can even change your VPN in other countries, allowing you to access even more Netflix movies or get discounts while shopping online. You can try one of Surfshark's packages for as low as $2.69 a month, risk-free for 30 days or your money back guaranteed. And right now, Surfshark is having a VPN holiday season deal. Use code BEER to get an additional six months for free. Click the link below for more details. We finished the go-kart, but made a massive mistake. I was somehow so excited to build this thing that I didn't realize I put the motor on backwards, which was a massive rookie mistake. But I quickly fixed the problem by building another bracket and just flipping the motor around and officially taking this thing out for its first test drive. It ran good, but the chain fell off a couple of times. So I tightened it up. Then it was officially time to put the trash can on. It's officially completed and now it's time to find out how fast this thing can go. The roads were wet and slippery so I had to be cautious and a bunch of neighbors came out to support. thing which was pretty sketchy I think it can go a little faster if I had a longer road so we're gonna take it somewhere to see exactly how fast it can go there's another youtuber who did this and I think he did like 62 miles an hour with his but he had a gas engine so I don't think it's gonna go quite that fast but let's bring it somewhere and see how fast this thing can go so let's do it so we drove over to a longer road I got my rock climbing helmet here that I'm gonna use because it's the only one that I have. We're gonna jump inside of here and see how fast we can go, so let's do it.
That was crazy, guys. Uh, we managed to get up to 26 miles per hour, which was freaking sketchy as hell. It started to shake quite a bit, but uh, I would still call it an overall success. We were able to build a trash can, go-kart. All my neighbors think I'm crazy, so time to move on to the next project.